Hello and welcome to another Monoprice Mod Mondays on the BB3D channel. If you're looking for a way to keep your printer's tools within easy reach, this week's mod can help you do that. Stick around and I'll show you what I mean. I'm Brian and you're watching BB3D. Sometimes it's nice to keep the tools which came with your printer all in one place. And that's what this is designed to do. I liked the design, but I didn't like the SD card storage on it. It only held two cards and it was kind of awkward to get to them. So I remixed it and now it'll hold five SD cards. The original model was designed to print on its side with a bare minimum of supports. But by printing the model on its side, the arm for the scraper won't be very strong. For strength, it's better to print it flat. But printing this model flat means using more supports. And if you're not a fan of removing supports, then print it on its side. Just know that it may be easier to snap off the tool holder by accident. I'll go over the redesign a little bit in Tinkercad, and then we'll print it out. Okay, so here we are in Tinkercad, and the first thing that we need to do is import that original design. So we'll pull that in here, and here it is. You can see it on the work plane. There's that arm sticking up way up high, and that's the part that holds the scraper. And we're gonna need to rotate this down to where it's flat and then lay it down on the work plane so we can work on it. Let's go ahead and drop that down. Now, I want to remove this little SD card holder off the top. It holds the cards in there flat, but I don't like that design, and that's the part of this that we are improving. So I'm gonna grab a box as a hole and we'll drag that up to where it just touches the main surface of the, of the tool holder, and we'll drag this out. And when we group these two pieces together, that hole will basically shave the top off of the tool holder. And that's what we want. So now we have kind of a, a base that we can work from. I'll slide that out of the way for now. Here is a space model for an SD card, and I'll use that to make sure that I've got the design the way I want it, and just to show me the scale of things. Here is the finished part that we're going to add to the tool holder. And I'll kind of rotate that around a little bit so you can see it from all sides. I'm going to nudge that over just a little bit. Let me get this SD card out of the way. And I'll get the tool holder or the uh, SD card holder moved over. And I'll start to ungroup that and I'll show you how it's put together. As I begin ungrouping, you'll see a lot of these whole pieces. They're the ones that are kind of see-through and gray. And those are primarily there just to dress up the design a little bit. There we go. Functionally, there are five of those pieces that will cut the SD card holes out of this red block. The red block and the five slots for the SD card are the functional part of the SD card holder. The rest of those holes are purely decorative. Well, let me go ahead and grab the SD card holes they're designed to fit this piece. We'll go ahead and select those and move them over. Get this fourth, oh, hold on. The fourth one, get the fifth, try again. Get the fifth one. Now we can slide these into place on the red block. Nudge them to where they're just right. Let's take a look, make sure they look centered. They do. Let's highlight that and group that together. So now that red block has five slots in it that will perfectly hold five SD cards. But we can dress it up a little bit more, and that's what these other pieces do. See how this is going to cut a basically a chamfer and a bevel on the front of the part. Let me slide that back over, and I'll show you how I put those together. Hang on. Yeah, let's ungroup that. So you can see these pieces here. And basically what those are is the roof object. And I'll grab one of those and show you how I did that. I basically took the roof object and flipped it 180 degrees so that the pointy part was down. Then I resized it so that it was about four millimeters on a side. No, not three, four, come back up. A little more, there you go. And then dragged it out to the width or the length that I needed. And just to show you how that, how that works, I'll bring this over to the red block and we'll move, move it up to the top and slide it over a little bit so it cuts just the way I want it to. We'll turn that into a hole and then we'll group those two pieces. 
And there we go, it's, it has cut that, that chamfer on the edge. And that's basically what I did with all of those pieces that you see on the left. Let's ungroup this and we'll take that whole piece off. And then we can regroup all of these pieces and make sure that they are all holes. Let's go group and turn into holes. There we go. And we'll slide the red block back into place within that framework rather than move that framework over. Let's make sure we got that lined up. Does that look right? That looks right. There we go. All right, now we'll group all of that together. And there we go, there's the SD card holder that has a somewhat attractive look to it instead of just being a block. So we'll get this put into place on the tool holder that we removed the top of earlier. Now I wanna line that up on the back. So let's, let's select both of those pieces and use the alignment tool and make sure that we've got it aligned on the left and at the back. There it is at the back and it's already lined up on the left, so we're good. The only thing that we need to do now is raise the SD card holder up so that it's sitting on top of the tool holder. And that looks pretty good. Yeah, that's looking good. Let's go ahead and select those two pieces and group them together so they become one unit. There we go. That's looking good. And we'll export that out to an STL. With the design finished and exported out as an STL, I've sliced it and I've started the printing. Let's watch. I printed this on my Prusa i3 Mark III because I've got other things in progress on the Maker Select Plus. But there's no rule saying that a mod has to be printed only on the printer it'll be installed on. Print with whatever's handy. There's no shame in that. Anyway, let's get the supports removed and get this installed on the printer. All right, let's go ahead and get that tool holder installed. Slide it in from the back a little bit and then snap it down. Now you can start hanging tools on it. We'll hang on our scraper. Then we can load in our Allen keys. Go ahead and get those in, get them lined up. There we go. And then the SD cards. And there we go, everything's in place. Well, there we go, a convenient place for all the little Allen wrenches and the scraper that came with the printer. A link to the model is in the description below. If you have other tools that you want it to hold, don't be afraid to play around in Tinkercad to customize it. That's part of the fun. It's incredibly satisfying to take a 3D model, modify it to exactly meet your needs, and then see that thing take shape as a physical object. Well, okay, we're near the end of the video, so here's the part where I say things like like, subscribe, and share. Doing so doesn't cost anything, but it does help the channel, and it helps more people see these videos. If you like the content I'm creating and you want to do more to support the channel, there are links down in the description where you can buy me a coffee. I really like coffee. Or make a donation via PayPal. And don't forget to comment. Let me know if you like what I'm doing, but also let me know if you don't. Your feedback provides guidance, and I enjoy the opportunity to interact with you. If you haven't already subscribed, you can do so by clicking the BB3D icon right over here. And here is a video YouTube thinks you might enjoy. If you've already subscribed, ring the bell to get notified when I release new videos. Well, now that my tools are neatly organized, I'm going to go print something cool. You print something cool, too. See you next time.